for your assembly step one. Your assembly step one. So today I'm going to talk about the absolute, absolute contraindication of OCPs, oral contraceptive pills. So I'm not going to waste your time. Let me quickly start this. First, remember pregnancy. Pregnancy. Okay. And a smoking after the age of 35 years. Breastfeeding. That's why you need to test what you call in your SML examination. They will give you the um, what you call a case history and will ask you a lady of 18 years or of 20 years old. She complains of the blah 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 and you need to give you you might be thinking of giving OCPs but remember you have to give OCP and before giving OCP check for a pregnancy test okay any kind of active liver disease active liver disease okay then hyperlipidemia lipids more hyperlipidemia then uncontrolled hypertension uncontrolled hypertension diabetes mellitus with vascular changes remember diabetes mellitus with vascular changes okay then we have prolonged immobilization prolonged why chances of DVD right yes immobilization then a history of thromboembolism thromboembolism okay coronary artery disease and a history of stroke okay any cancer that is a estrogen dependent like breast endometrium liver adenoma cholestatic jaundice of jaundice of pregnancy Cholestatic, cholestatic jaundice of pregnancy okay sickle cell disease sorry sickle cell disease okay so these are the important points that you should know remember because this is definitely it is going to help you for your ESML step one and step to seek examination because you, sh you should know whether it's absolute contraindication for OCP use or related contraindication okay guys so let me revise once again smoking after 30 years of age pregnancy breastfeeding active liver diseases hyperlipidemia uncontrolled hypertension diabetes mellitus with vascular changes prolonged immobilization history of stroke or a cancers like um, breast cancer, endometrial cancer, liver adenoma, cholestatic jaundice of pregnancy, sickle cell disease, any history of thromboembolism, thrombophlebitis, coronary artery disease. Okay, so thank you so much for watching this video. And uh, for just I want to say you before this ending this, uh, if is there any relative contraindication? Relative contraindication like depression, migraine, headaches. Okay, oligomenorrhea, undiagnosed amenorrhea, gallbladder disease heavy cigarette smoking more than a pack a day under the age of 35 years if the age of the patient is less than 35 years and they are heavy smokers they come as a relative contraindication remember so what are the relative contraindication depression migraine headache oligomenorrhea undiagnosed amenorrhea gallbladder disease heavy cigarette smoking okay under the age of 35 years okay guys thank you so much for watching this video take care